Stranger Things Season 2, Chapter 3, The Polywog, which is almost like The Polywag, which is like a Pokemon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, man. Uh, we got a whole new audience with Stranger Things, obviously. It's a whole new genre. So I love branching out, but guys, here's the thing. We need you to comment below all your favorite movies, man. We have a list this long, and... We need it to be longer, baby. So throw your favorite movies down in the comment section before we get into this awesome show because we need to watch the movies too. So let's go. Let's go. The Pollywog. Ooh. I'm a Pollywog in a Pollywog. Let's go. When I was growing up, a Pollywog was on Gola Gola Island. Oh yeah, that trash can was doing some rumble. Where's the recap? <laughs> the hell? Dusty! How was it? How, how, how was what? Oh yeah, it was, it was, uh, tubular. What's wrong with you? That's like, did something happen? No, what? No. Are you constipated again? No, mom. Okay, you're acting weird. I am not acting weird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like he caught a ghost or something. Awesome, right? Yeah, I, I, I rigged a trap with uh, a motor to make it look like I caught a ghost. Just like the movie. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Look at that. Look at that. What the heck, guys? That you wouldn't see the work snail? in here. That wouldn't work in here. Why did why did he have a snail on his wall, y'all? Stay still for one minute. Sorry, Yertle. Temporary <laughs> eviction, buddy. What the heck? <gasps> oh. It's like a tadpole mixed with a hamster. Oh, it looks like a what are platypus. You, guy? What were you doing in my trash? You hungry? I love it. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> you get go on. Eat. Oh. Too hot? Sorry about that little guy. Oh. I wish you know how to kill it. You like no too, huh? What if it's a monster? Stop. It could be You're a little demigod. You know that? It's not. I'm glad I found you. D'Artagnan. I'm gonna call you D'Artagnan. Magnet. Mm. <laughs> of all the names. He's reading up on reptiles. Oh, is it just asleep? You don't hear this ominous music? No, I try to tune those things out when there's cute things. It's still cute though. I feel like when I watch the show, I just go to war because it makes me cry so much. Why is that? You might have something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you might should ask your doctor. <laughs> Why didn't you just name it Polly? Well, I'll be. I mean, she's got to be freezing, right? Rise and shine. She had a crazy winter, Loki. I'm just going to have to uh, enjoy this triple decker ego extravaganza on my own. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Hey, it worked. She mm. came out. <laughs> That's like when you go to the mm. restaurants and they have the ice cream, right. the candy, and all the gummy bears. Yeah, you know, the great thing about it is only 8,000 calories. Mm. Kids love it. <laughs> I know that you miss him, all right? But it's too dangerous. Mm -hmm. You're the last thing he needs right now. You're going to see him soon. You now say soon on day 326. What is this? Wow. You're like counting the days now like you're some kind of prisoner? When is soon? Oh, shit! Dang! Shit! Friends, don't lie! That was intense. Dang! Oh, Jesus. Have you seen them? <laughs> It's We're tough to deal with that kid. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you. And then tele ah, what is it? telepathic? Telepathic, kids. yeah. Oh. Hiding under some jeans, sneaky little buggers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, big guy? You want to go for a ride in the Bob Mobile? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was him on the bike. He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to read up on this little creature. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Henderson, you know the rules. Five at a time. Yep. One, two, three, four, and five. Ten. You already have five books checked out. My mistake. <laughs> However, I am on a curiosity voyage, and I need my paddles to travel. These books are my paddle. Five at a time. Are you shitting me? Excuse oh. me? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, no way. Mr. Henderson! I need my paddle! Boy, he's in debt with the library. That's never good. Man, he's gonna end up in hot penitentiary. 
<laughs> is that you I heard milling around last night, or was that a ghost? <laughs> milling around. Did I ever tell you about Mr. Baldo? Mr. Baldo? Yeah. I was a little younger than you, standing in line for the Ferris wheel at the Rowan County Fair. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, I feel this fat white glove tap me on the shoulder. I spin around, and there he is, Mr. Baldo. Hey, kiddo, would you like a balloon? <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. Funny. It wasn't funny back then, I can tell you that. I couldn't get him out of my head. Every night, he would come to me in my dreams. Mm -hmm. Every night when he came to me, I ran. It got so bad that I made my mom stay in the room with me until I could fall asleep every night. And then one day, the nightmare suddenly stopped. This time, I stood my ground. I just looked at Mr. Baldo in his stupid face, and I said, go away. Go away! Just like that, he was gone. Your Never monsters are way scarier than Mr. Baldo, though. Absolutely. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> Easy peasy. Just like that. I still don't get why they call him Zombie Boy. I mean, I get okay. it, he lost in the woods for a week Go or away! <laughs> why is he a zombie? He thought it was Will because his body was super decomposed. What? You can ask anybody except Will because he is really sensitive about it, all right? As he should be. <laughs> a large iron rod was driven completely through his head. Oh, and he lived, right? Oh. Phineas miraculously survived. Yeah, I know that story. He seemed fine. And physically, yes, he was. But his injury resulted in a complete change to his personality. Although it wasn't a program. I'm so sorry, Mr. Clark. <laughs> anyway, continue, please. <laughs> Although it wasn't a crowbar, it was a rod, as I said. We have to meet uh, the American all rod the Avi <laughs> Club. Why? I have something that you won't believe. Avi Club lunch. <laughs> Dustin. Yes, my lord. Would you care to join the class now? <laughs> please. Yes. Case of Phineas Gage. Phineas Gage. Page 104. 104? Focus. <laughs> Focus. 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 So you brought it to school? In that thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I used to do that with my sugar lighter, man. That was a bad idea. I don't think I've ever brought a living creature into school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little area, huh? A little radius. Why does he gotta kick the door? Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> almost been a year for her she has to be so bored just in the middle of the cabin oh no <sighs> she's so Good monkey see monkey do mm -hmm. long time ago i mean we just use it for storage now oh so this is her little house her. this is her little her and hopper story yeah but i didn't know he lit he just said he didn't live there his dad did mm -hmm. so uh what do you think? You know, once we fix it up, it's gonna be nice. Real nice. I mean, shoot, I like it. Oh. I knew she was gonna repeat that and make me cry. All right, this, this is music. Never heard it. <laughs> Up, down, got it, hustlers. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, huh? All right, do you like it? All the demo day music. Why are y'all sweeping? I need a dust first. Oh, it's from here, yeah. Smart. It's like an alarm. You uh, set it up like this, and then anybody gets close, it's gonna make, make a loud noise. noise. Like a gunfire. Bang. <laughs> Those bad men aren't gonna find you. There's gonna be a couple ground rules. Rule number one, always keep the curtains drawn. Rule number two, only open the door if you hear my secret knock. And rule number three. Breaking all the rules. Don't ever go out alone, especially not in the daylight. All of them. Yeah, she said the hell with this. I call them the uh, don't be stupid rules. <laughs> I thought he was going to say big three. I thought he was going to say the gym rules. <laughs> you don't mess around with gym. <laughs> not stupid. Oh, she's rebelling. She's a teenager. You better stop it, Eleven. Okay, what's up, Steve? Harrington, right? I heard you used to run this school. That's true. Steve, How do they have time for all that during a play? Then you turn bitch. Hey, maybe you can just shut up and play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Not under the leg. <laughs> Steve? What are you doing here? What do you think? That was your other boyfriend. That was that was Jonathan. I don't understand. Pretty simple, Nancy. You're just telling like it is. What? Uh, apparently. Man, just uh, say it like it is, dude. We Jeez. killed Barb, and I don't care because beat around the bush. Bullshit. I was drunk, Steve. I don't remember any of that. So that makes everything that you said it's just, what? It's just bullshit too? Yes. Well, then tell me. Tell you what? You love me. Really? 
<laughs> she said, we need you, man. That douchebag's killing us. Let's go. All right. Come on. <laughs> he just left the game to go argue. Yeah. <laughs> it's into your bullshit. He goes back, though. <laughs> Why do they have a secret little spot they can just go hang out outside? Is the 80s. They yeah. probably were allowed. There's no cameras. I mean, we had it, too, but, you know. Aww. And he was in your trash. Foraging for food. You want to hold him? No. no. He doesn't bite. Don't, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Oh, God. He's slimy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like a living booger. <laughs> right. That's oh, what I was thinking. We'll just... What is he? My question exactly. At first, I thought he was some type of polywog. Polywog? It's another word for tadpole. Tadpole is the larval stage for toad. I, I know what a tadpole is. All right. Then you know that most tadpoles are aquatic. Right? I'll start. <laughs> so how did one end up in my trash? Maybe some scientists brought it here and it escaped? Do you guys see that? It looks like something's moving inside of it. Oh. 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 It's okay. And there's another thing. Reptiles, they're cold-blooded, ectothermic, right? They love heat, the sun, Dart hates it. If he's not a polywog or a reptile, then I've discovered a new species. Don't get me wrong, it's cute, I guess. Oh, well done, threw it up. <laughs> Yeah, because we never got answers about that when he was throwing up that stuff. Whew. She's back to work. Have a nice day. There he is. Aloni? <laughs> I, I like you so much. Not just you. Everything that comes with you. Your family, your boys. I hope it's not wishful thinking, but I kind of feel like I'm breaking through with him. I mean, not so much Jonathan. He's a tough cookie to crack, but <laughs> with Will, I don't know. I feel like we're connecting. Likes you too. Just noticed this morning that my JVC was a little dinged up. I went back and watched the tape, and there were some older kids picking on Will. What? I scared them. I swear to God, I will. I will kill them. What I love about you, <laughs> you punch back. I struggled a lot like Will when I was a kid with bullies. It's the ones like us that don't punch back that people really take advantage of. You know, they rub your nose in it just a little bit more. I don't know why they do that. Maybe well, that's very vulnerable of you. I'd be too embarrassed to admit that. But hey, look at me now. I get to date Joyce Byers. Ha! Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I get to date Joyce. See, it all works out in the end, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Oh. I must have had me 16 Dr. Peppers. I like the design. It's almost psychedelic. Mm -mm. Whatever is happening is spreading from this place, from this lab. That's impossible. There's nothing to worry about. Convince me. Convince you? Yeah. You and your egghead friends go out there to every area on this map and you run your tests or whatever the hell it is you do and you see if anything comes up. That's right, Hop. Tell them. I keep things nice and quiet for you. Mm -hmm. And you keep your shit out of my town. That is the deal. Dang. I have done my part. Now you do yours. I didn't realize it was such a backroom deal like that. Convince me. Yeah, convince him. But he has a backroom deal too. Well, people say stupid things when they're wasted. You know, things they don't mean. Yeah, but that's the thing. <laughs> what He's if I did mean? All this time, I've, I've been trying <laughs> like, so hard to pretend like everything's <laughs> fine, but like there's this weight you're carrying around with you all the time. Oh, you feel I it feel too, it John? Too. Mm. Are people responsible for this? They're dead. Do you really believe that? <laughs> I was not expecting him to be jamming <laughs> that hard. <laughs> he works at Radio Shack, right? Yeah. Well, why? What are you thinking? What you thinking, Nance? Do you want to skip fourth period? Look, that's going to be how they start to bond. He's going to be like, hey, so you work at Radio Shack. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I sure do. <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. <laughs> oh. She died of a fever when I was just three months old. I do wish she lived long enough for me to remember calling her mother. I think it would be so sweet to say mother. Do I have a mother? Yeah, of course you have a mother. You couldn't really be born without one. Where is she? Oh. She's not around anymore. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, kid. That's so sad because she is there physically, but mm -hmm. just not mentally. You see, nobody wanted me, and that seems my fate. Is your mom here? Sweetie? Where is school? The school? It's uh, about a mile that way, at least. Where are your parents? Well, she didn't do anything harmful, at least. But why is she trying to terrorize that little toddler for her? Why she do that? To get him to look, so she could venture off. I mean, yeah, but geez. Dude, you gotta put it in something before you put it in there, right? I don't know. Yeah, you put it in a I mean, I'm sure you do, yeah. Yeah, the cassette that holds it. Yeah, the VHS, you mean? I'm trying to watch your video thingy, and the tape, it's, it's tiny. It's like it's shrunk. Because <laughs> it's a VHS. It's blue. I think it's working. I was thinking maybe tonight we could join. <laughs> Joyce. Well, she's busy. 
Watch it, zombie boy. Trick or treat, freak. <laughs> Whoa, that's that thing in the sky, bro. She can this see is freaking it? me out. Yeah, she can see it. Go get the picture. Go get the picture. Oh, she's tracing it. She's tracing it to match it up with the picture. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Mm. It's like that video camera was able to pick it up. Mm. That's intense. Sure <clears throat> she was what? artistic too. Yeah. What? It's about Tartanian. <gasps> Now, this very well may change your perception of the world. Mm -mm. Listen to my interest, Pete. All right, first, <laughs> let's just clarify that this is my discovery, not yours. <laughs> okay, fine. Stop! I'm really sorry, Mr. Clark. It was just a stupid prank. What the hell are you doing? Stop. We need to go home. Mike. Right now. Right now! <laughs> I cannot stand when they do that in shows. The grown-up's about to figure out, but they just never will. Coming or what? I hope that, like, he Screw gets in on it. A little shit can skate on. Meanie. Don't call her that. What? Sister. She's not my sister. Huh? You little guitar solo. Will saw something that looked like dart last year. Kind of, but there was no tail. But then he heard it yesterday. The exact same sound. Why didn't you tell us before? I wasn't sure. So it's a coincidence. Or not. What if when Will was stuck in the upside down? Mm. Elaborate. Maybe these episodes that Will keeps having aren't really flashbacks at all. Maybe they're real. Maybe Will can somehow see into the upside down. So that would be... Dart is from the upside down. We that's have to take him thinking. to Hopper. I agree. No, no way. If we take him to Hopper, Dart's as good as dead. But that's like saying just because someone's from the Death Star <laughs> doesn't make them bad. We have a bond. A bond? Aww. Just because he likes nougat? No, because he <laughs> trusts me. He trusts you. Yes, I promised that I would take care of him. Bro, I wouldn't trust it. Y'all saw like the chocolate, main reaction. If they like chocolate, doesn't that mean they like blood? Because it's like the same, so, something's in it. Like they told us about Venom. I like chocolate. Venom likes chocolate and brains. It has the same like something in it. Mm -hmm. Don't hurt him. Only if he's half. Just open it already. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Stop. Did he grow or am I sure? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> No! no! I just didn't want him to kill it because I want to know what it is. I think they ran. Shit. Tell her it's an iguana. Oh, where'd he go? What was that? Dart. Iguana. What? Iguana. Don't you hurt him! He just grew legs and ran. <laughs> he said, <laughs> things busted out. I bet that hurt. Jonathan? <laughs> uh, Miss Wheeler. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Don't you go shopping? Oh, uh, yeah, my my Walkman broke. Mm. Bummer. Anyway, we should go. It's a it's a really <laughs> oh. big test. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to tell you something. Something about Barb. No. About that night. I I uh, I haven't been honest with you. Whoa. But I, I can't tell you here on the phone. Meet me tomorrow. Forest Hills Park, 9 a.m. Yeah, they're Start still in it. Me. They're and still in don't it. Call me back here. It's dangerous. This is gonna cause problems. Well, they're taking soil samples. So what do you think is leaking? I don't think it's well, leaking. Well, right about these right? pumpkins. I thought when he's stuff. firing the stuff, it's like Smell. firing here is like messing so this up exactly too, do right? Do I don't going know. On. Well, I told you what I think, but we'll run the test. Yeah, upside down is bleeding into reality there. Maybe. Hey, chief, you got me. Yeah. You remember that Russian girl Murray was going on about the other day? Yeah. Well, now I'm thinking he's not so crazy after all. Uh oh. Stay where you are. Do not move. Man, you peeled out way too suspicious. You can't <laughs> trust this guy. Should have said, okay, have a good day. Just rode out. Mm -hmm. If she can learn to ride that, she'll fit in. That probably made her think about Mike. East is clear. A sign of dark. Where'd you go, you little bastard? <gasps> Mike. <gasps> no. Her and Dustin have the same hairstyle almost. Yeah, they do, don't they? What's <laughs> <laughs> clear to you? Will? South is clear. Lucas? Anything? <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Sinclair. Uh, so sorry, I, I was looking for a study hall. Uh, bye. Nothing here, man. <laughs> he just kicks that door. <laughs> mm mm. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you in here? I'm looking for Dart. This is the boys' room. Yes, sir. So you should go home. Dang. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate you. Well, I could be your Zoomer. That's yeah, not you even have a real no thing. Idea. It could be. 
See? Zoomer. Mind blowing. Oh, come on, you know you're on the rest. I don't see any <gasps> Oh no. Yeah, but if Mike saw you, he'd quit talking to her completely. Talk to him, talk to him. Oh. Oh. She was jealous. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. What happened? I don't know. It was just like a magnet or something pulling on my board. I know that sounds crazy. That's a red flag, Mike. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. This just got complicated. I was thinking that she was going to see it and get come jealous. On, I didn't on, think she would on. do that. But if Mike would have saw her, he would have completely stopped talking. Yeah, he would have been all. like, forget your skateboard. Hi, Doris. It's Joyce. Uh, Joyce Byers. Uh, Will have a club today. <laughs> Could you transfer me to Mr. Mr. Clark? Huh, you know what? What? I just saw him leave for the day. Maybe AV was canceled? What? Would you like me to... Miss Max Plan is a jerk face. <laughs> Hazel, are you a nut? <laughs> what? That's what is that? He's gonna be the one to find it. What if it's like his baby? Because he threw it up, kind of. Guys, I found him. Where? In the bathroom by Mr. Salomon's. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Please don't hurt Dart. I'll be so sad. <laughs> Even if he does that. <laughs> oh, that scared him enough to trigger it. Hey, buddy. Oh. I thought he was gonna be gone. You no, know, I won't hurt you. He loves us, then. You're okay. Yeah, hide him. Keep quiet. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I don't know. Not here. <laughs> what? He said by some learners, right? Yeah. Maybe Will has him. Where is Will? Only this time. I didn't run. Oh no. That advice. This might be some bad advice. This time, I stood my ground. Uh oh. No, you run. Yeah, what are you gonna Go do? Oh my god. Easy peasy, right? No. Easy peasy. Just like that. Is it just Stop me or is it, it. freezing in here? Because I, I got know. chills, Stop. dude. Man. Oh, brother, brother, brother. Okay. So, guys, man, super quick. What's this little creature's name? Dart. So, Dart. It's, it's short for a longer name, man. I don't know that I would personally trust it. Uh, Dustin apparently has some type of relationship with it to where it trusts him. I'm kind of with Mike, man. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? After I saw that Demogorgon, I, I don't know what I would trust. Uh, Eleven is obviously going stir crazy. Sitting in a cabin, she longs to be free. Yeah. And just be a kid. You know, she's missing out on so much stuff. And that really segues off of last episode where she wanted to be a kid. She realized she couldn't, but she just accepted, okay, since I can't be a kid, at least I'll deal with hanging out with Hopper and Halloween. But he couldn't even really keep that promise to her. And I think it's really starting to bother her. And I think she's starting to realize maybe she's like a prisoner in that cabin. Yeah. So uh, she's a very strong, very strong individual. So the idea of adults telling her what you can and can't do probably doesn't sit very well with her. Absolutely crazy. Will disappeared back into the upside down, babe. He stood his ground, just like Bob said. I don't know if he should have done that. <laughs> it looked like he got caught up by a damn twister or something. And I don't know what that little creature is. Like I got you. Okay, theory number one, just tell us what do you think that creature in the sky is? In the sky? Yeah. The one that Will just stood up to. I feel like it's like this big old thing that like, you remember when it had its, its it was all in Will's throat? Mm -hmm. I feel like it, it connects like entities with its tentacles. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it connects <laughs> entities with its tentacles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what, am, what, what was no. I supposed to say? I think it's a giant spider that is infiltrating. Good lord. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. I just want to remind you awesome people. We're about to hop into the next episode, and there's obviously a lot more developments, man. We could get into Jonathan and Nancy and what they got going on. Basically, the conspiracy is not over. Hopper's in bed with the with basically this little shadow government agency. Yeah. And, you know, he's doing what he, he's in bed with the devil, basically doing what he thinks he has to do to protect the town. So we're going to see how this all plays out. I'm so excited for Eleven and Mike to reunite. God, I cannot wait for that. What that are the odds of her me. just walking up at the exact same time? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But she was hurt, though. She was jealous about that. But I mean, that's to be expected, right? All right, guys, let's get into the next one. OK, guys, Will the Wise, chapter four. That is not 20, Joyce. <laughs> She only cares about one kid. Will! Dustin! Will? What's going on? Where's Will? The field. Will. I just found him like this. I think he's having another episode. That's Will. where he's staring at it, man. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, man. Will! Sweetie, wake up. Mom! Will! <laughs> Will, wake up. What in the hell just... He just... Oh my god. He just absorbed it, basically. Alright, that John's gotta be choked up. So he just inhaled that whole monster. So the upside down's like in his mouth right now. Basically, he can taste it. I love how it does the tube back there. I love that. Well, it's so cool. It lets you know what season. I think the intro to this is just perfect. Like, mm -hmm. they killed this. I love the transition, too. Mm -hmm. How it goes in the letter. Well, I love that, too. Okay, that totally freaked me out. That don't freak you guys out? Two episodes in two days. It's getting worse. You think it's true sight? What's true sight? It's nothing. She's not ready to know all that. Nope. She just <clears throat> got here. I can't remember. This shape. I saw it on the videotape from Halloween night. It's the same shape as, as your drawing. These episodes that you're having. I think Dr. Owens is wrong. I think they're real. But but I can't help you if I don't know what's going on. So you have to talk to me, please. Is no he trying to secrets. protect her or something? I really don't know. It's almost more like a, a feeling. Like the one you had that night at the, the arcade. Why don't you see it if it's like a feeling, you know? Yes. Well, what does it want? came for me and, and I tried, I tried to make it go away, but it got me mom. But what does that mean? I felt it everywhere, everywhere. I, I still feel it. I just want this to be over. Y'all gotta move. Y'all need to move out the city. Whatever's going on in you, we're, we're gonna fix it. I will fix it. I promise. I'm here. I love this show. It'd be so hard to be Joyce. Cause like, what are you supposed to do with that? I know. Like, I still didn't even understand what he meant. That was a fall sunset right there. Grounded. <laughs> hey, hey, don't walk away from me. Oof. And all I ask of you is that you follow three simple rules, three rules. And you know what? You can't even do that. Those aren't three little rules, though. Those rules entail a lot. They're tough rules for a kid. And she's Grounded. been locked up forever. Is she sick of it? You know it. what that means? It means no egos. Ooh. And no TV for a week. Oh. All right, knock it off. Let go. You are like Papa. Really? Ooh, no, he's not. I'm like that psychotic son of a bitch. Oh, all right. You'll go back in the lab. One phone call, I can make that happen. I hate you. Yeah, well, I'm not so crazy about you either. You know why? Because you're a brat. You know what that word means? Hey! Oh. Open the damn door! Man, I didn't see this coming. Whoa! It's so complicated, you know? <laughs> Y'all better go to Home Depot. Yeah, it's definitely complicated. But it's oh. not like she's just making bad choices. She's going psychotic. She's trapped. Like, Hello. she's literally trapped in a cell. I mean, know? she's just a little girl. Yeah. It's hard to... Hello? That's so tough. It's like the old, would you rather be a dog chained up or a dog that got hit by a car when he's free? I'd rather be free and get hit by a car. That's just me. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. So that man goes there when he sleeps. Hey mom, I was that rapid eye movement. Yeah, doesn't it seem like, doesn't it like that? Girls' night, romantic comedies, Darren gossip. If Nancy was my kid, she's not spending the night at no no girl's house. Nancy, no man. Nothing. She's locked up. Hey. 
No, ma'am, you grounded. Did you see your mom? No, yeah, she's gonna she's ruin her life if somebody don't stop her. <laughs> she's doing all kinds of craziness. You don't have to do this, you know. Stop saying that. Flo, it's Joyce again. <laughs> Tell him to call me the second he gets in. Please. Thank you. He's dealing with some stuff too now, for real. Hey, how you feeling, sleepyhead? Any better? Mm -mm. Same as last night, still weird. Yeah. All right. Is he about to start acting evil or something? <clears throat> Did he get possessed? I don't know, man. Y'all know I watch Supernatural, so that's just how I think. I was just thinking maybe he would throw up more like critters. I hope not. Is it a fever? No. It's uh, cold. Actually, it's cold. Do you Whoa. feel cold? No. Just a little out of it. Like, I haven't really woken up yet. That little creature don't like the heat either. It's he cold. Mm. No and I meant it. No doctor. What if it makes him worse, you know? Because it's hot? Morning, Dart. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast. Your favorite. What if that's not good for him at all? And he's like, please get me some nutrients. I gotta I'm just go eating to it because I'm starving. I'll be back soon. Sound good? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What the hell's going on? What do you think? We're looking for dark. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi. <laughs> Where's Will? He'll be here. Are you just going to stand there? Or are you gonna help? <laughs> He's looking for He's something. Like, that he knows. like on Survivor oh, when the things. hidden immunity yeah. items take in, they gotta pretend it's still there. there. But it's in your pocket. Instinctively yeah. respond to danger. Expose a bacterium to a toxic chemical, and it will flee or deploy some other defense mechanism. Like Will, you gotta expose We're very some much the chemicals. Same. When we encounter danger, our hearts start pounding. And they don't like water. Our palms start to Remember? sweat. These are the signs of the physical and emotional state of fear. <laughs> yes, what is it? It's too hot. You were right, babe. I, I can cool it down a little bit, baby, but we gotta get your body temp back up. No. Oh. What? He likes it cold. He. Who the hell is he? What? Listen, um, about last night, I, uh, I want this place cleaned up by the time I get back, and then maybe I'll consider fixing the TV. <laughs> you hear me? He said, I gotta stay strong. <laughs> Can't be a softie. Come in, Hop. Come in, Hop. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm on my way in, and yes, <laughs> I do know what time it is. Joy Spires has called eight times already this morning. Eight times. For my sake, please deal with her. <laughs> you can tell he gets a little overwhelmed by her, though. He doesn't rush to her by any means. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> that makes me want to go play. I don't like that they do Steve like that, though. Well, Steve kind of sucks. Plant them next time. Draw a charge. Oh, he's the coach. That's you. <laughs> I'm sweated, Harrington. <laughs> it's just not Chill, your day, man. Yeah, no, you're weak. Don't take it too hard, man. Pretty boy like you's got nothing to worry about. Plenty of bitches in the sea. Am I right? I'll be sure to leave you some. <laughs> I'll be sure to leave you some. That was so rude. <laughs> Those were the best. Those little spring-loaded animals you could rock on. That guy there. What? Just talk to himself. <laughs> it was an agent. The paranoia is setting in, huh? Duck. 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 <laughs> They're just thinking it's everyone, aren't they? It probably is, though. I think we should go. It's definitely him. What if it's not at all? What if he's a Jehovah's Witness? What if they dropped their pen? Trouble with your car, miss? I can give you two a lift if you like. Mm -mm. No, we good. No, 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 no. I knew it was him. I knew it was him. I didn't know it was her. You sure you don't need that ride? Dang, they don't even know Jonathan's getting picked up right now either. Jonathan. Where the hell have you been? I overslept. What the hell's going on? It's freezing. I feel like their lives are not boring though. At all. We have a visitor. 
Dang, he's this hot. Thing, this shadow thing. 95 it's degree body temperature and he's like hot. This. It likes it cold. Does he talk to you? No, it's like I don't have to think. I just know things now. Things I never did before. Wow. It's just up in there. It's like a and, fire. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's like old memories in the back of my head only. They're not my memories. I mean, I don't think they're old memories at all. They're they're now memories happening all at once now. From multiple dimensions. Now memories. They're, they're growing and spreading and killing. The memories? I don't know. He's a good actor, man. He's oh, oof. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay, sweetie. Oh. oh, Will the Wise, like uh, he knows, like his third eye's been opened up or something. He got the true sight. Right. Yeah, draw it up. Where the hell is Bob? Our radio shack. We have a Jesus Christ, he's working a double? Maybe a triple. You need to get home, Bob. Maybe he's gardening. Or lifting weight. Anything? We need to talk. AV room, right now. Party members only. Oh. Come on, Mike. No, this is non-negotiable. I love how all this happens Sorry. within that little like five minutes they have between class. I think it's crazy. Last season, Mike was the main character, and he's really not Luke this didn't season. Didn't want me to tell anyone, but on Halloween night, he saw yeah, you're right. a sort of shadow in the sky. I mean, if he can really see into the upside down, can it hurt him? I mean, if this shadow thing isn't from our world, I'm not sure. Dustin? Well, if you're in another plane, you can't interact with the material plane. So theoretically, no, the shadow can't hurt him. Yeah, if that's even what's happening. This what isn't about his conscious though? This is real life. So what do we do? We acquire more knowledge. If we find Dart, maybe we can solve this thing. Maybe we can help Will. Always. They better not torture him for answers, though. We need to get a shirt that says, I gotta help Will. <laughs> oh, she's cleaning. That's so crazy. She couldn't lift it, so she just used her brain. That was smart. <laughs> maybe this will be her eye-opening moment to practice self-control. Granted, I think she's doing a good job. Whoa. Mm. Open it up. Maybe Hopper's got some secrets. Oh, she's gonna find out about her mom. Friends don't lie. Oh, and friends lie. And they just got in a huge argument and she was feeling bad, so she wanted to clean up. Now she's about to get pissed again. She's gonna run away. You two got caught up again. You up for a little walk? I'm assuming you're behind me. Men of science have made abundant mistakes of every kind. George Sarton said that. You guys know who George Sarton is? Doesn't really matter. The point is, mistakes have been made. Yes. Mistakes? Yeah, I'd say. Yes. You killed Barbara. Abundant mistakes. But I can't make things better without your help. You mean without us shutting up? Basically. She's tough this work. You guys been together long? We're not together. Want to see what really killed your friend? Teddy, it's your audience today. I hope you don't mind. More the merrier, sir. More the merrier. I call it one hell of a mistake, wouldn't you? See, the thing is, we can't seem to erase our mistake, but we can stop it from spreading. Like, can you? It's like pulling weeds. But imagine for a moment if a foreign state, let's say the Soviets, if they heard about our mistake, do you think they would even consider that a mistake? What if they tried to replicate that? So they're burning it because they think the that they're. The more we bring to ourselves, the more. They're just trying to contain it. Like, oh, I guess yeah. it's like a living organism growing and spreading. The more likely that scenario becomes. You see why I have to stop the truth from spreading too. Same as those weeds there. We understand each other now, don't we? Maybe Dart's a little piece of a weed or something. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Because it's screeching. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be alive. Poor Will. Will's not even there right now. It's that creature doing all that drawing. Wait, these black lines, see? Put them together like a puzzle. Yeah. <clears throat> they connect. This is like a survivor challenge. Eleven's in here. Our lights just went crazy, y'all. Some trail? That's those little tunnels we kept seeing. Oh, maybe that's what it it looks like in there. No. I mean, maybe it's it's roots. Cause remember he he was saying it was spreading and, and killing. 
So they were killing. That's what's causing all that stuff to rot. The mm -hmm. pumpkin and stuff? So like where that is in the upside down is where it's killing? Yeah, maybe. I thought you guys wanted me in your party. We do. But it's... But what? It's a lot. There, there <laughs> are just things. Things we can't tell you, all right? For your own safety. My own safety? Yes. Because I'm a girl? What? <laughs> no. Did you keep secrets from Elle? <laughs> well, no. How do you know about Elle? <laughs> Did you? That was different. Trust me. Okay, that was... Just, just different. You know what? Forget yeah, it. Okay. For real. Max, you still stink, by the way. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that kid Something's you were up talking with these to. Two. Who is he? No one. No one. Kid from my class. Why is he staring at Lucas like he wants to go challenge him to basketball or something? He causing you trouble? Why do you care? Because Max. You're a piece of shit, but we're family now, whether we like it or not, meaning I'm stuck looking out for you. What is what up with them? Hey! I know, that's what I'm this thinking. This is serious shit, okay? You stay away from him, you hear me? Stay away. Why are you hating on Lucas like that? He's really angry at her, but when he's playing basketball, he's cooling. This is that song the church drummer want, you know? It's real slow. <laughs> We have way too many little inside jokes, don't we? <laughs> yeah, Terry. <laughs> so her name's Jane Ives, Loki. Jane. Papa. Oh. Papa. She's not about to call Mike, is she? Oh, that's just a radio, dude. I'm tripping. I thought that was a walkie. Oh, you think she's gonna go find Terry? Maybe. Man, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't realize I was so thick at first. <laughs> <laughs> she grabbed like a whole boom, boom box. Hmm. Jane. <gasps> so she can do it too. Mama. They're seeing each other there. Bro, this show gives me chills. Look at my hair, y'all. Y'all see that? Okay, I could be wrong. Mama! Mama! That was crazy. So, I'm confused. Does she know that her mom's alive now? I don't know what it meant when she disappeared. Right. Maybe it just means that she's mentally gone. Hey, hey is Will here? You know, now, now is not a really good time. Is he okay? It's about the shadow monster, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> stop holding information from each other. She's like, you know? <laughs> I know, we all need to just come clean. Have a nice day. At least they're letting them out. Stay out of the park. I thought they were going to chop them up into a million little pieces. All right, so more kids can go missing. I thought they were about to chop them up and then redistribute them into McDonald's plants. Ooh. There's no way. It doesn't really matter. The point is, mistakes have been made. Yes. Mistake. Ooh. The men involved with those mistakes, the ones responsible for what happened to your brother and Miss Holland's death, they're gone. Nancy, you ballsy the ones as hell. responsible for what happened to your brother and Miss Holland's death, they're gone. You still want to do this? Man, they should have searched y'all. They're going to go show Let's Bart's mom. Out after the, ground. the conspiracy widened y'all. A lot. Leaving Hawkins. We getting out of Hawkins. Yeah, you can't go to Hawkins and talk about what's going on. You got to take this, take this broader. Dirt, I've got to talk to you, buddy, about my friend Will. I think... He shawl shanked. He done broke through the wall. Um. Oh, he shed. What the hell? Dart? <gasps> Dart's eating the cat. Dart. You still think he's cute? No, I'm, I don't want. Now it's like Smeagol. It's a Demi Gorgon. I told you. I told you it was. I told you. Oh. Y'all see how dead I would be if it was up to you? We'd be adopting all kinds of creatures. We'd have a Smeagol, a yeah. Demogorgon, a Hippo. This man right here better have shoulders like damn Brock Lesnar digging this. I'm telling y'all what, get that man some water. You seen him punch. You know what's up. Yeah, Hopper smokes too much to dig that hole. I heard screeching. That's what I heard. Bubbling. So that thing Will drew was like roots, and he just dug into a root, maybe? Uh-uh! Hopper. Oh! 
Into the upside down? I'm so confused. Maybe you can go through with in, Maybe in the vines. Can, yeah. So, well, they went through a tree. Mm -hmm. Damn it. What the it heck? It goes by so fast, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh Hopper with the flopper hopped into the uh to the uh to the roots, and I guess he uh, went into the upside down. What are we hold on for. Because I'm just gonna close this so it doesn't play something, so I don't get distracted. Basically, man, <laughs> L found her mom, uh, I guess, in like the astral plane or whatever the heck it is. And it seems like she made contact with L. Yeah. And then the minute she made contact, I don't know if that like broke her psyche or if she maybe like in her own subconscious had like a flashback or a moment of like PTSD like Will was experiencing because her avatar that was basically being represented in this little place just blew up and disappeared like smoke, right? Mm hmm crazy as mess uh baby what do you think about the acting performance in the show so far phenomenal some That's of the best right some yeah, of the best phenomenal beyond like even the kids are insane like will with his Crying. emotions and stuff and expressing like how two people he's basically two people and one right now yeah, ugh. that's got me. That's got me weirded out because that dude's body temperature was too low. When that junk happened, it gave me chills. That's and you crazy. called it. You hit the nail on the head. He didn't want to get in that water. He said it was too hot. Yeah, he doesn't even want to have the heat on. They keep the door open and stuff. So maybe what? Okay, so what I'm gathering so far, man, is maybe the demigorgon plants his host inside of a living organism in order to like carry it and keep it warm and you know be a host, and then. After it grows big enough, it the host has to reject it, and so it vomits it, and that's how demigorgons come to life. I don't know, bro. I, that was so weird. I, I just I have thought no maybe idea. it was like a kind of like a brand thing. Like he went, they went up in will, so he could be a representative on this earth, where the acrobat is. Oh, you think that he's trying to like? So you think that they maybe have an agenda? Maybe you you see what I'm saying? So what Mrs. October is trying to say is. She thinks maybe the demigorgon has some type of agenda. Maybe they want to enact an agenda. And the best way to do it is to possess like a living host. Yeah. Because Will's saying that like when he's plugged into this thing, he has all these thoughts and he knows more and he becomes like, not like enlightened in a good way, but like it expands like his third eye. Right. So he starts to see these things he can't describe. So maybe the demigorgon is the same way that maybe they have an agenda they can't put into human words. But when they attach themselves to will maybe that gives them the ability to use like human perceptions and right all. i don't know man very interesting And maybe though. when they plug will up into that wall i know that's a weird way to put it but you know when he was in the wall like and that thing was down his throat maybe that was just to see if it could, he could like take or something maybe there's been like people in the past that just quite haven't like barb i have no idea i, I mean we could sit here and speculate on it but the demigorgon is the only living creature that we've really like discovered so far and then there's i don't know what to call it maybe like the cloud monster or something like that but I don't know what that thing's called, but the I don't, sky demon. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like the sky demon, right? A sky demon spider. So, so basically, in my mind, the upside down is the tornado arms. Sorry. No, it's the equal and opposite of our reality. So there's the shadow realm, and then there's like the ether, maybe, which is where L goes. I could be wrong, but so far, this is just how I'm putting it together. Uh, I do believe Hawkins Lab. Well, I don't know, man. They they put forth this narrative that something happens and what would happen if the Russians knew they would take it as an act of war. They would think we're trying to develop some like, you know, technology that allowed us to like interfere with different dimensions and all this stuff. Right. Right. And replicating it would be dangerous. So do you well. think they're completely lying? Do you think that they have a nefarious, ambitious goal in mind? Or do you think they genuinely was just trying to like do something with maybe the electromagnetic magnetic field or because it was the Department of Energy or something? Right. Right. So what do you think? I just think that whatever is in they they need obviously this shadow the upside down for something. And I think it might be well, I mean, never mind. I don't really have like the best speculation, but my first initial speculation would be to like if maybe there was like some resource there that we could acquire a lot of or something. Like free energy or something. Like yeah, something like that. Or I don't know. Or it could just be somewhere when our world gets destroyed, like fallout. You can like go there, maybe. You know, guys. I don't know. I, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know. Get it. Well, the problem is everyone's seen it. So if we're alive with it, you guys could really get active and let us know your theories and stuff. But what you can do is let us know in the comment section where you are at mentally at this point in the show. What were you thinking and stuff? So, guys, just for the sake of uh, having fun, just suspend reality and pretend that this is your first time watching. 
just pretend like you don't know what's going to happen. So just play with us with the theories because, you know, there's a lot of theories that honestly I can't even think of. So if I had more perspectives, it'd be fun to right. speculate a little bit more. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm still waiting on Joyce and Hopper to get together because. <laughs> no. Stop okay, guys. That. So here's the obvious thing, right? Bob's no, great, stop but it. Bob represents like the nice guy, right? And then Joyce, you know, like Joyce don't want a nice guy. Joyce wants Hopper. But does Joyce want someone who like literally saved the freaking universe? Yeah, That's Hopper. What, yeah. Yeah, but he didn't Sam. save it in this. And man, mm -mm, mm -mm. she Anyways, just has to know. She has so to know it's Sam. In my mind, every time it goes down and Joyce really becomes desperate, who does she call? Well, Hopper, because Hopper is the sheriff. Of, yeah. Why would you not call the sheriff? <laughs> why would you not? I don't know, man. Anyways, I just feel like, I don't know, man. I, I just feel like she just calls him a lot, you know, and Sam and not Sam. See, you got me calling him Sam and Bob. Bob's been at Radio Shack for like a week. I guess he goes out of town. Yeah. But another reality, he saves the universe. So, yeah, and you, I just can't look past that. You know, I, I got to give him a lot of credit for that. So I support their relationship because I love that. The is guy. there anyone else that he could date? I'm trying to think of a timeline or like a branch. Oh, where I maybe... know who he could date. Dustin's mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He could date Dustin's mom. So maybe mom. he'll move on to Dustin's mom or something. Or maybe because the show did this weird thing where I thought that Nancy would end up with Jonathan, but then she ended up with Steve and now she's sort of swerving back to Jonathan. So it kind of makes me think that Joyce and Hopper got to have some type of weird dynamic, right? Mm hmm. I don't know, man. I'm just having fun with the speculations. I'm trying to I'm trying to dumb it down a little bit. I'm trying to talk about the gossip of the relationship because I'm not smart enough to try to understand what the hell is going on with this upside down. So I'm distracting <laughs> you right now. Well, that part's really crazy. But also uh, the cool part about the show to me right now is like, like I said, we said it real time, but Mike was like the main character last season. Now this season, there's not really one, so to say. It's like everyone kind of has a equal part. I kind of love it. that. Maybe they reviewed the first season and after watching it back, they realized Mike's sort of main character. This thing, maybe we should do a better job trying to make sure that he's not like. Or maybe to be it's just. Favorite. Or maybe it's just cool to like switch it up because Eleven's not really him and Eleven don't have the connection right now. So I don't know. I, it's it's just crazy because cool, when you say main the character, dynamics. there's four. Well, there's. Everyone's like a main character, yeah. right? But I do know what you mean. Mike definitely took on that main character role, but it's great. And I really love that they're giving more screen time to other characters because Mike's amazing and all, but all these kids are so talented. They yes. all definitely need to be promoted. And, you know, I feel like Dustin um, was me when I was little. He always talks about food. He loves animals, you know? Yeah. I feel like out of all the friends, Will's probably like their least favorite friend, though. He just got a lot of baggage. That's just the vibe but he's I get. So adorable. He just seems like younger so than them. Like, they're yeah. kind of like soft to him, you know? So there's probably some truth to that. But I feel like Will and Mike have like a really ne a strong connection. It's kind of jacked up, though, that they called Barb's parents to basically, because they knew that they were going to listen and they knew they were going to get caught. So they called Bob's parents so that way they would meet up at a location because they wanted to get caught, basically. And they wanted to make them think they caught them on their terms. That way they weren't suspicious enough to look for a tape recorder, mm. right? And so mm -mm. I don't I don't understand why they said that to Barb's parents. I would really hope they had some good proof. I mean, that tape recording thing seemed a little convenient to me. I don't know where they would have hid that, mm -hmm. you know, in her purse. Man, you better empty that damn purse. <laughs> what you mean? Jeez. Well, like you said, they were like going along with it. So they didn't like fight or anything and like look into anything. Mm. But then you could be right. Maybe they did that because they knew they had a tape recorder. My hair looks like a Zelda sword right now. Um crazy show man thank you guys so much for tuning in for real i mean this show really is one of the coolest most original dopest emotional you know shows that we've seen in a long time genuinely do you guys. like max yeah max is cool i like her character i like her because she's edgy man I, you know what i mean like her character comes off as someone who's at mean, first mean though. because she's like been through it but like at first she did and then when they kind of rejected her she kind of turned into like i'm a cool girl you see this right i'm kind of cool right don't forget about me. I'm kind of cool. Max deserves a fair shake. You know, yeah. she we didn't get to see what it was like for Dustin to move to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We didn't get to see that transition. We didn't get to see a lot of that. So I don't really want to judge Max. I don't want to feel like she's. I just think when her and her I know that it's not her brother or whoever, I guess her guardian. Her, when her and her guardian were talking, he said <clears throat> something about whose fault is it that we moved? So obviously it was her fault. When he said that, Ryan, even a while, I was like, oh my God, this, this girl's about to turn out to be an X Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like she's a dark Phoenix over here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe she is like 
a power or something we don't know about. But when she, like maybe she's psychic like Elle. I don't she, think so. No, I'm because when she when she got knocked off the skateboard, oh. she said she felt a magnetic thing, and if she was telepathic, she would have a much better excuse for that. Yeah, but my thing is, I'd have freaked out a little harder. Yeah, I would have too. Like if the universe would have threw me off the skateboard, <laughs> uh, you know, like she or you just, could just be clumsy. I don't know. In her mind, she was like pebble, magnetic pebble. <laughs> uh, dude, does she like Mike? I, I don't know. She, I, I don't know. I feel like she doesn't like Mike. She just wanted to be included. And the way to be included was through Mike because she kn- she just knows Mike doesn't like her because, you know, Mike's crushing on Elle and he's missing her. And- yeah, Mike's the one who's constantly putting that energy of get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that. And she's like, why do you hate me? It was just the way that she like looked at him when she was spinning around on her, uh, uh, her little skateboard. She was just whizzing around him and she was just, you know, looking the way the way Sam was looking at Frodo at the end <laughs> of the Return of the King. And that's yeah. what triggered Elle when she got so mad. Right crazy show i don't like that her brother or not her brother her guardian picks on steve because i feel like only we can pick on steve who's this guy picking on steve steve's ours to pick on you know we know what he did he doesn't well steve will punch him in his nose eventually (laughs) i hope um every time i see him playing basketball it just upsets me because i just want to go play because i think i'd beat that guy personally (laughs) but um yeah i just wanted to get that out there just really (laughs) want to go play basketball so uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Hit us up on Patreon if you wait, guys want to see the... You can't stop. We didn't even talk about what Dustin's going to do with that thing. That went without saying. What do you mean? You burn it alive. You crucify okay, it. Okay, but you, what does you, he do in that moment when it hisses get a at him? whisk bone and get you a and black kill cat muse. on a full moon and you do a seance over it and you send that thing hacking back to the underworld. But that means it's going to go through a portal or something because it, it's killing the cat and so there's blood, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's about to act just like a little demigorgon. It's about to just run around. But is it still going to like Dustin? That's the only question we have left. I think so. You think so? Mm-hmm. So do you think Dustin will be... you think it's going to be one of those things where like... They're fighting... Fight- up. It's like, never forget, brother. <laughs> never forget, brother. You think it's going to be one of those things where like... like Basically like Fortnite where they hire it. Yeah. And, the, and the whole time they're running around. And then the demigorgon's like on their side. Yeah. And he's like... We gotta stop fighting. The Maybe humans. they'll fight the one. That, okay, this is just speculation and completely like bizarre because I'm just like saying. But Basically maybe this. Silly. Yeah, maybe okay. this one. Maybe um, Dart will help them defeat the one that's in Will's mind. Dart will be like, I know, <laughs> I know where the vines are on the Dart. Maybe the little demigorgon will. <laughs> maybe one day tell its head to stop eating cats, and it'll take them <laughs> time to really realize how special and unique these kids are and changes perspective <laughs> yeah maybe it's a vegan one maybe they can convince it hey be a vegan nah, demi some, <laughs> some weed killer on it is what they need to do they need to hit it with the hedge trimmers no maybe it will eat the the croated pumpkins well maybe because then nobody would have to clean it up because i wouldn't want to touch that right you know right. I mean? did we miss anything i mean i'm sure we did obviously um no I, i'm this show is is fantastic you guys i guess we're at I the point it. where we could sit here and like you know what i'm saying try to seduce this show and tell it how beautiful it is and all that good stuff. But you guys already know that. And you know we would be telling it the truth if we did do that. Absolutely. But I feel like we need to see more because... It's just a mystery. It's a mystery. You know what I mean? It's one of those things like, okay... I don't I Like I said, I'm not sure how this came out. But if it came out all at once, it's one of those things that if you're watching it, you have to press next episode. You just can't like... You know, you can't walk away from that junk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's bingeable. Yeah. Yeah, it's bingeable for sure. And now I have to sit here and just like think about it. And wonder what the heck's going on. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, man. Uh, if you're tuning in uh, remotely, psychologically, psychically, let us know. If you have any special powers out there, if you can move things with your mind, please hit the like button. Comment 11 below. is like Jean Grey, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the like, vibe and, I And they like love X-Men. X-Men, so I can't wait till they call her that. Maybe she- They do love X-Men, don't they? Yeah, maybe she'll be it for a Halloween special. What if, season four. What if Stranger Things actually on the low is just a spinoff of X-Men and we just don't know? Right. And then we put it together at the end because maybe it's like, maybe what, it's like, Magneto who's behind it. I'm just kidding. What if like Logan pops out and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. Thank anyways, you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>